zero, one, uh, zero. <laughs> Not too bad, <laughs> I guess. So that's explicit or so that's all the concepts for uh, bitwise. Um, I'm actually going to leave this table up because uh, I actually developed a converter for binary and decimal and stuff in Python, but I switched machines. I thought I copied the files over. They corrupted or whatever. Um, I don't know. It was. I liked them. I wish I still had them, but I'm just going to have to do it manually. Which I'm great at manual computation. Always. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's just make an easy number like 1. We're gonna say x is equal to 1. Alright, now let's do a bitwise operator. And let's make that bitwise operator, I don't know, shift over to the left. Why not? Okay. So let's say uh, x, um, shift to the left now. So now let's go to. So it's gonna have one activated here because it's decimal and it wants to, and then it goes to binary because we're doing everything bitwise. So it's gonna shift over two places. So it's gonna go right here. So it's just gonna be four. Voila. Okay. So. Three places, eight. Um, I can also shift it right, which uh, if it goes off, it just goes off this screen. So right here is zero. Since it's right here, it's gonna try to move over. It's just gonna die. If the one was over here. Let's make x one twenty eight. Um, x is equal to one twenty eight. Now let's shift that uh, the bit over. One. You can also oh well, do it. Two fifty six. Oh. Okay, maybe it only happens the other way. And see, it knocks it off. Well, you normally can only have two hundred fifty five bits in my head, but apparently this one's a little bit different. So in Python, you can shift it left, but you can't shift it right. Um, so yeah, I'm wrong, like normal, but you f we figured it out together forever. Okay, so now let's just make uh, two binary numbers. Let's say, I don't know, 1 and then 64. How about that? Does that sound good? So, um, 32 plus 64, 96. So x is going to be equal to 96. Now y is going to be equal to, uh, why not this number? So uh, that would be 255 minus just 32, because that's the only one unactivated. And if all these were activated, it would be 255. So that's why I did the calculation this way, other than ca adding. So then I have x, and let's check y, looks good. Um, now let's do an and, a uh, bitwise and. The bitwise and command is, ooh, I have x or and or. Exclusively. I don't even see bitwise and man. Oh, there we go, it's the ampersand. Uh, x and y. Voila. X and y. So it'll be 64. Um, why is this? Well, our first number, which was x, which is 96, was what? This number and this number. And then our other one was this one, right? Um. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Oh yeah, these ones match up right here, but these ones don't. So yeah, I got it. Yeah, I did the logic right. 
I believe. <laughs> All right, now let's just do a bitwise or whatever that is, because I don't know this where she is. So it's really, really new to me. Well, I've seen it before, but I don't really screw around with it. So or um, apparently 255. So they're pretty much all activated because this one's all these. And, uh, the only one that doesn't cover, this one covers. So yeah, that one's pretty basic. Yeah. Now the other way is exclusive or like I was talking about. And exclusive or, well, we'll take these two numbers. Uh, this is supposed to be zero, but put that in for some reason. Um, exclusive or, it should have just taken um, this one and then all of these, because it has to be one or the other one. It can't be both, but that's wrong. It can't be both zeros either. So that's bitwise and uh, complex numbers. Um, for complex numbers, uh, you can also call um, like individual pieces of the complex number. So I could be like, let's make this x, x equals. So then I could be like x dot real, and it'll be 13. We can do x dot complex, I think. Maybe not. Oh, that sounded, oh, imaginary. Yeah, that's what it is. Imag. Yeah, there we go. So that's bitwise and complex number, word combination. Um, it's in my operator stuff. Oh, I also did some uh, true false stuff, which will lead into the next one for uh, iteration while loops and stuff. Um, I hope this helps, like always. And I'm going to rant on for a little bit while longer and not construct my sentences properly. But yeah, peace.